Hi friends, welcome to my channel Lotus Geek. Today we're gonna fix in which the Bluetooth device is not showing in the device manager. Before proceeding, I request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how-to videos. So let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. The very first step that you need to do is to click on start menu and type here run. Click the run command and type here services.msc and hit the enter button. Here in services you need to find a service known as bluetooth support service. You need to open it and from startup type make it automatic and if the service status is stopped click on the start button to start the service automatically. Hit apply and ok button. Now check if it is showing in the device manager or not. If the problem is still persist, we are going to proceed to the second step. In second step, open your settings menu, click on update and security and from left pane click on a troubleshoot button. In troubleshoot click on additional troubleshooters and from here click on the bluetooth and click on run the troubleshooter. This troubleshooter will run automatically. Now follow the guidelines and once the troubleshooter finished its processing, again check if the problem is persist or not. Now if the problem still persists, we are going to proceed to the third step. In third step, we are going to update your drivers. Generally the drivers are of Intel. So here I'll provide you a link of this website which is Intel website. You need to click on Intel driver support assistant. Click on the download now button. Save this assistant in your desktop. Now run this assistant. This will automatically install the Bluetooth drivers in your system and if it is missing it will be resolved automatically. After installing this, don't forget to restart your system. If this also doesn't work out, we are going to proceed to the fourth step. In fourth step, click on start menu and type device manager. Click on the first option. Now in device manager, click on the action tab and click on add legacy hardware. Click on the next button and from here choose the second option which is advanced option. Now from show whole devices find here network adapter. Now click on the next button. Now all the devices are shown in front of you. Choose your supported Intel driver and click on the next button. This will install the Bluetooth driver or the bluetooth software in your system and then click on start action button again and click on scan for hardware change. This will automatically scan and display your bluetooth device automatically in your device manager. If still this doesn't work out we are going to proceed to the fifth step. Click on start menu and type here cmd. Run cmd as an admin mode. Now type here a command dism space slash online space slash cleanup image space slash restore health and hit the enter button. This command will take up to 10 minutes so just be patient and let this command works for you in the background. Now type here another command ssc space slash scan now and again hit the enter button. This command also will take up to 10 to 15 minutes depending upon the speed of your system. So in the meantime I will go ahead and minimize this and proceed to the sixth step which is our last step. If all the above method fails we are only left with the this last step. Open your computer and open your C drive. Now in C drive open windows folder and locate system32 folder. Open it 
and find here in the search box type here a name f s q u i r t and hit the enter button this one is the application that we have got you need to right click on it and send to desktop this one is the bluetooth shortcut that we have just created which will equally works for you so these are the ways to resolve your problem of the bluetooth device in your system that's it about it friends if you like my tutorial i request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how to videos thank you so much friends thank you for watching